welcome to your national level boot camp i think these are the grade three students who are here yes are you in grade three no yes okay then i got that right because i have here your books contents to discuss uh national level is the which level you started with the inter school level you finished it yes you did very good and then you came to the state level right yes that is level two you finished that also and right now you are in the third level um, let me spotlight myself yes now you can see me right now you are in the third level which is your national level so in this level there are not as many students as there were in the inter school level not everybody is, comes to the national level you know that right so you are let me see first of all the brilliant faces keep your video on let me see if these faces can show how intelligent what let me scan a bit let me uh, check how brainy you are can that be found just by looking at your face to some extent i can find all the faces here look very 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 keen to learn more is that right you love to learn yes okay in this boot camp what uh, kani ma'am and i will do is we will do two two rounds each okay so i will do on words and meanings and uh, crossword kani ma'am will do on word weaving and kinds and types of words um if you want to see the rounds that are going to come to you so this is your national level books wrapper some of you might have received your book some of you might have not received your book for some of you you might not have your book right now with you so it doesn't matter okay you might have received a different wrapper but the content will be the same so many things can be here but don't worry in this boot camp kani ma'am and i we will both be sharing the books pages right so even if you're going to look properly at the screen not just our face also the content in the book that's going to come to you even if you don't have the book it's okay okay no problem right so this is what we are going to do today you can see the rounds here so crossword and word weaving kanima compound words sorry crossword by me word weaving and compound words and kinds and types of words by kanima right so crossword and what other round did i just say did you hear that did you listen to it yes what is that other round words and meanings but you already finished words and meanings no didn't you you did but we finished only 300 words in the state level what you did was only 300 words correct let me show you the next picture so you will understand clearly you can see here you finished from a to f a to f is approximately around 300 words right but can anybody tell me how many number of words you have totally anybody knows darlings you can type in the chat that is how we will interact okay please type in the chat how many words you have in your spell it right very good we totally have 1000 words and you're going to learn all these 1000 words meanings and you have already completed 300 did you prepare well for your state level yes you did a good job very good now we are going to do the next 300 words and when you come to the international level the last 400 words and this number is approximate we will stop approximately when we reach the end of that letter okay so now let's see what we are going to do we are going to do till p okay so i will start from g and go till p is that clear ma'am dikki ma'am in the state level boot camp she did from a to f correct and now we are going to do from g to p i'll start with this and then i will go to crossword okay but before that there is something that's very important bala sir are we ready with the link h is for it yes ma'am super now a very very important announcement is going to come to you if your parents are also here um it's a very important thing that they also listen to this that would be great if any elder is also close by you can call them your grandparent your older uh, brother sister anybody so this is an announcement on something very big can i talk about big things to you no you are very small yeah when you stand up you will not be even to my shoulder side you are like very small children no we'll skip it bala sir 
they are very very small grade three students no you want to hear big things do you really want to do big things i am not too sure okay i see a lot of thumbs ups okay okay you first tell me if you understand all these things i'm going to speak about okay i can see some of you raising your hands too that's awesome okay um let me first tell this if you can understand then i will share the link okay is everybody in the world very safe yes do you think everybody is very safe no are you safe yes you are very safe you have your parents to protect you you are living inside a very comfortable house you have good food to eat they are sending you to a good school yes and yes we get good food we have a good house we are being taken care off by all the elders our parents our family our teachers but do you think everybody is like that no you know what is the meaning of the word security what is security security guard <laughs> yeah no security actually means being safe like you somebody typed in the chat very good being very safe so there is a project by un you know what is un UN is United Nations. Okay, United Nations Organization. Yes, you're typing. Wow, I didn't know that you knew about all this. Security is protection. Very good. United Nations. Uh, global. What is global? All the countries. Okay, participate. So it is not by any one country. This is a project by United Nations where many countries contribute and they have partnered with Spelby International because we thought we are all old people. I look old, right? But you are... Oh, you're saying yes? Okay. I know I'm growing old. It's okay. It's, that's okay. But you are all very young. You are going to be the future leaders. And when you grow up, should the world be better than how is it right now? Or should be worse? It should be much better because you are going to be the future leaders, right? So even right now, we think is the right time for you to think about all these global problems, right? You can even talk about a tree. Coconut tree gives us coconuts. We make coconut chutney with it. We can have tender coconut. But can you also talk about deforestation? That we should not cut down trees? Yes, so that is a global problem. So very young children, they will write about my favorite food is ice cream. But students who are going to be future leaders can be talking about food like about one third of the food that is made in this world is going waste. Whereas millions of people are dying without food. So you can also think big and talk about all this so for that we have partnered with the uh, united nations human security for all that's the global campaign okay in this project we want children who think big children who will be future leaders to contribute that original can be an essay can be a poem can be an artwork can be anything that you will do it by yourself Okay, so this is to build your fluency also. Should we do all this? Yes. And when you do a good job, this will be posted in the United Nations Human Security for All website. That website is also there. You can even go and check about, read more about it. And we will also publish it in our website. But you should not copy from anyone. Okay, deal. Now, the link is going to come in the chat. What you will do is save this link. Okay. How will you save this link? You have to copy paste it or you just click on it. This will open in another tab. Okay. And you have to fill in the details. Your name, your school. And what do you want to contribute? Artwork or poetry or essay. Or it can even be a short video. It can be anything. Okay. A short speech also can be there. But for this, you have to learn a little more. When you speak, everybody should be like, oh my God, a third grade student. 
Vanya is speaking like this. Myra is speaking like this. Oh my God, Arnith is speaking like this. Little kids are speaking like this. Even Mahek, who is now smiling. Yeah, so when you speak, everybody should be like, wow. That should make even adults rethink their bad ways. They should not waste water. They should not want to cut down trees that are near their house. They should want to plant more trees. Have a community garden. So speak about anything that connects with any of these. Uh, there are seven pillars, actually. Eight pillars on food, on economy, on environment. So anything that is to your interest, you can speak on this. Have you saved the link? Yes. Now can we go and see the rounds? Yes. If you think, no, no, ma'am, I'm only here to learn the rounds for the national level. I am not going to participate. It's okay. Not all children are going to be future leaders. So uh, this is especially for children who will want to make this world a better place. Who will write. Nobody's there like that? You sure? Oh my God. That's interesting. Everybody's saying, yes, you want to do this. That's awesome. Have you shared the link, Balasar? What I'll do is I'll stop you from chatting right now, okay? Only yes. Balasar can uh, share the um, yeah, only Balasar can now share the link. Please save this, okay? I'm all, already very happy with this group. You're going to be very, very interactive. I know that. Because I don't want to do a lecture. Not at all. Because I will be bored. Only when you interact, that will be fun. <clears throat> okay? Have you opened this link in another tab? Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Please submit this. Later, now let's continue with this bootcamp. Welcome aboard to this bootcamp on your national level rounds, okay? Right now, the round that is open right here is your words and meanings. And we will start with this. And after we finish this, I will give you a break or even during this. What is the time now? 6.12, right? Sharp at 6.45. I'm going to give you a break. Before that, you will not get away from this space. Okay? It's your time with me. And sharp at 6.45. If it's 6.45, even if I am forgetting, you can tell in the chat. 6.45, break time. Okay? Then I'll give you a break. You can go have a glass of water, go to the loo, stretch, close your eyes, do whatever you want. Okay? But now don't close your eyes. Now you be with me. Okay? Let's begin. Now, this is your round number six. This will stay as your round number six till you complete your international level. No change at that. And questions will be from A to P. Remember this, not from um, G to P. For your national level, from A to P, you should prepare. And I think you already are familiar with many words, but some words can be difficult. So let's just look for the difficult ones here. Which word do you think is difficult here? Goggle, you know, I think. The first picture here is for goggle, garland, we know, gas. Okay, I'm now allowing you to chat. Uh, I hope you have all saved it. Yeah. What is the most difficult word here? Mm, any difficult words? I think everything is easy. Nothing, right? Yeah, I thought so. Ah, I wanted to tell you the pronunciation of one word here. Uh, word number 303. Is it gigantic? It is not gigantic. It is actually Jai, Takshi, you want to say? You can say. Uh, Ma'am, it's not gi gigantic. It's uh -huh. gigantic. Very good, Takshi. It is gigantic. Good job. So that is a very commonly mispronounced word. And now I'm going to show you a picture for one word that was there in the previous slide. What word was that? Anybody knows? Not giddy. Giggle, that is correct. Giggle is right. Good job. Now, be more alert because I'm going to show you pictures for every page. And let's see who is typing it first. I think again, glider, glitter, global, gobble, guidance. Gilts, gulf, gurgle. 
Okay, these are the words of this page. I don't think you will take more time. If there's any word here that is very difficult, please let me know in the chat. Is there any difficult word here for you? Nothing is difficult for you. Very good, Panav. Now then, let's gasp. Gasp is to be taken aback with shock. Now tell me, what is the word I want here? Anybody knows? Gobble, Ashri, the first one to die. Very good. Greedy was not in the previous page, right? Gobble was there in the previous page. I'm asking for words that are here. So here we have gutter, gypsy, had you, hello, halter, hub. Okay. Now I'm going to show you a picture that will have both the senses of the meaning. Same word, but this word has two meanings. Can you tell me which word is this? Which word is this? No, no, not hamper. Ah, yes, halter. So this, what uh, you wear on this uh, horse, that is a halter and she is also wearing a halter top, right? So let's look at the meaning of halter. You can see here, a rope that is tied around an animal's head like a horse to control, tie or lead it. And also a, a piece of women's clothing that is tied around the neck with straps, leaving the arms and shoulders bare. So this picture, this is a halter and this is a halter top. And this is an image I created with uh, AI. That's possible. You can also try. Right. So let's see what is the word. One word I'm going to choose from here. Hamper. Hamper can be a large basket with cover, like a gift hamper, but it can also mean uh, obstructs. For you, we also have the synonym of the word after the meaning. What you see in italics here, that's the synonym. Okay? Similar meaning word. So we have hike, hint, hobby, hoist, hone. Hone means uh, to improve, to make something better to improve or sharpen one's skills. Hood, I think this picture is clear enough for you to understand. Now, can I show you the picture? Are you ready? Is it blurred? Are you not able to see this? Okay, I'm zooming right now. Can you see this? Okay, for some of you, it's blurred. Okay. So it's not blurred for many of you. That is, your internet speed is also, yeah, your internet speed is also important. Mala, sir, is it very blurred to read? Come is this read readable? No, ma'am, it's able to read, ma'am. Sorry? Yes, ma'am, we can be able to read, ma'am. We yeah. can read it. Okay, yeah. beautiful. Thank you. So, darlings, also check your internet speed, no? Now, have you seen the words? Can I show you the picture? So, tell me. Um, can you read the words alone once? Mm, super. I'll do that for next time. Thank you, Kanima. So the word is hoist. That is what I wanted, but the flag is already flying. But somebody must have hoisted. Sorry, I could not find a hoist gif. But when do we hoist the flag? When do we hoist? Very good. On the Independence Day. We don't hoist the flag on uh, Republic Day. Twenty sixth January is Republic Day. Very good, but we don't hoist the flag on Republic Day. Can you tell me what we do on Republic Day? Anybody knows? There will be a parade, yes, but the flag will already be at the top. So, yeah, they will only unfurl the flag. You know that? It will not be hoisted because uh, we became a republic after we got the independence. So, on the independence day, we hoist it. And very good. We celebrate a constitution. Very nice. So, we unfurl it. So, flag will be already at the top. So, when the leader, they will come and only unfurl it. They will not hoist it. It will not be taken up. Good job. Well, that's a little tidbit. Now let's go see the next page. I'm going to read out the words. Horror, host, 
hue, humorous, icicle, ideally, identity, idiotic. Okay, so I think hue can be difficult for some of you. The different types of colors ranging from red, green, yellow, blue, etc. Horror, we all know horror, horror movies and all that. Host is uh, somebody who will have the guest. So host is uh, a person who will be uh, like the one hosting a party. Or it can also mean uh, somebody who is uh, hosting a program on a television or a radio. So that's also hosting. Humor is very funny. Icicle. Okay, have you seen an icicle, anyone? We have not seen an icicle. When the snow drips, what happens is even before that drop could fall, it freezes. And another drop falls and it freezes. Another drop falls and it freezes. And what we end up having is like very thin strips of ice. So that is icicle. Yeah, in some refrigerators in the freezer also you can see. Uh, in frost-free refrigerators, you will not be able to see. Yeah, and this will be from the ceiling. It will not come from the ground, right? So when the snow falls, when that one drop of water, when it is about to fall, it freezes. So that is how it grows from top down. So that's an icicle, right? Um, I think everything is easy. So let's see if you are able to tell me what is this. In Arunachal Pradesh, you've seen it. That's great. Very good. This is icicle, not iceberg. I was just telling you about icicles. Yeah. Right. Next one. What is uh, this? We have ignite, ignore, immerse, imitate, impetus, implicit, imply. So I think you know what is ignite. Ignite means to flare up something, like to set fire or to even uh, invoke some feelings like uh, his speech ignited the uh, patriotic feelings in me. So that can also be that, right? Evoke. So that's the synonym for it. Ignore when you're not uh, caring for it, like neglecting it. Immerse. I think all these are easy for you. Imitate to copy. Impetus. That's a very uh, new word, I think. So something like a thrust, like a power, energy with which something moves, that is impetus, right? Or it can even be the inspiration behind something, like the encouragement or motivation that makes something happen. So that is impetus. And implicit. So not directly uh, said or done. It is very indirectly done. So suggested in an indirect manner, not said openly or directly. So, for example, uh, when you do something, even without your teacher saying that you should do it, that is implicit uh, obedience. You are under, you're understanding even without somebody's instructing you, right? So that is implicit. Imply means to hide. For example, um, what we have here, uh, to to hint, suggest, or give a clue about something without actually talking about it openly or directly. So something like a hidden meaning. So what do you imply? Why is your uh, tone like that? What do you imply? Or uh, when uh, you want to say something, are you implying that uh, you are not my best friend anymore? So you're not directly saying it, but when you say some certain things to your friends and they don't like it, they'll be like looking for hidden things behind your words you're saying, right? So that is uh, hidden, that is implied. And now tell me, what is this? This is not implied. What word is this? Of course it's a gosh. No, not ignite, not ignore. Very good. This is imitate. So the mother is driving the car and she's copying. Yeah, driving. So she's imitating. So imitate has only one M. Be careful with the spellings, dears. So this is imitate. Right. Next one. Important, improvise. Improvise is to do something without planning. like Or do something with whatever you have with you. Without great planning. So that is improvise. Infantry is a branch of army of soldiers right but uh, they fight on foot and they only carry small weapons with them 
um, informer is a person who gives valuable or secret information. Inherit is what we get uh, from our parents or ancestors. Inhuman, being in a behaving in a very unkind, cruel way. Initiate the start. Inlet is uh, something through which something comes in, like uh, a water inlet or something like that. Okay. Now, this is a real fact. Are you, are you familiar with this story? This happened for real. Not importance. Very good. Informal. So when the Pakistani terrorists were seen in the Indian inside the Indian border, it was not the officers or uh, soldiers who first saw them. It was an ordinary shepherd. He saw them and he informed about their uh, presence. And that saved so many people's lives because we could act in time. So this person's name is Tashi Namgyal and he was an informer. The shepherd's alertness and split-second decision to inform the army saved hundreds of Indian soldiers. Right, so that is correct. Those of you who said informer, good job. So next one, insecure, inspect, install, instruction, intake, intelligence. I think all the words are easy here. Do you find that any word is tough in this page? All good? Can I show you the picture then? The first one is tough, you said? Let's see. Insecure. Oh, we just talked about security. So it is the opposite of security. When you are not too confident or when you're not too uh, feeling very safe, then you're insecure. So you can be insecure about anything, about uh, your skills or about your uh, affinity, like about your closeness with your family and friends. It can be anything. So not guarded or protected. So that is also insecure. Not feeling safe. That is insecure. Not feeling happy or confident. Now, have you seen the words? Insecure, inspect, install, instruction, intake, and intelligence. Now tell me, what is the word? Very good. Inspects. Very good. Now the next page. Intend, intention, introduction, inverse, involve, irksome. What is irksome? Being troublesome or irritating. That is irksome. Uh, the synonym would be like annoying, right? That's irksome, irritating. Irregular. I think everything is easy here. You saw the words? Can I show you the picture? Okay. Anaga, first word is difficult. Intend. Intend means uh, to plan or to want to do something. What is your intention behind this? So that is the noun form. I intend to be a good student. I intend... What is your intention in today's bootcamp? I intend to learn everything that's being taught. So that is what you want or plan to do. That is intent. So that's the verb form. Intention is the noun form. Okay. Right. Now tell me the word. Is it irksome? I don't think it's annoying. <laughs> I know it's a dinosaur. It's smiling, so it's not annoying. But it is upside down. So the word I'm looking for here is inverse. Or it can also be irregular because regularly you don't see dinosaurs being like this. But not invent. We did not have invent. Right. Next page. Issue. Drail, dray, jerk, dressed, jiggle, jolt. So issue can have different, different meanings. For example, uh, something that's being discussed about them. What is the issue? 
they ask right or it can even be to give for example uh, uh, they issued some magazines and it can also have another meaning the children or some ch a, a child of somebody so they have three issues so <laughs> yeah sometimes they joke like this what is your issue my issue is my issue right so you're not like that i'm sure about it so jail j is a bird jerk so they have two meanings for this jerk is to move suddenly like twitch um also it can mean uh, a cruel a cruel rude or a small minded person so they say don't be a jerk right so it can be the movements or it can also mean like uh, don't jerk it from my hand to pull something suddenly with force towards oneself so all of this for that one single word so just as a joke a simple joke jiggle is like way something moves jiggling like from side to side or top and down like when it's like short movements it's a jiggling and the synonym of that can be wiggle are you ready can i show you you want to know the meaning of jolt jolt means to make something move suddenly and forcefully for example the bus jolted to a stop so when you pull the train's uh, train it doesn't stop in a very smooth way like it like stops with a jolt so that is the meaning of that that sudden uh, forceful stop okay now what is the word i thought it's a nice looking jelly but jelly was jelly on the page no jiggle is the word correct very good so this is a nice jiggling jelly right journey jadar okay jadar also means movement here this movement is to shake unsteadily and uncontrollably like for example how a vehicle uh, or a mechanical object moves that's jadar like in a vibrational way so that is jadaring jumble i know you, i'm sure you know jumbled words and all that keeper okay keeper can be zoo keeper keeper can be uh, the keeper of uh, the keys like the guardian and it can also mean uh, somebody who is taking care of the baby or it can be a museum's curator so keeper is a very common word that is used to refer many professions like that a kindergarten it is not g a r d e n it's t e n okay where small children now usually study so that is kindergarten it's a german german word now if you are ready i'm going to show you one word okay first tell me what is the word okay and then you have to tell me the correct answer to that what is the word we saw this in your previous page what word is this for very good very good it is not animal three of you have given me the right answers already it is armadillo very good i thought this will be a tough one for you good job are you sure you are in grade 3 only right kindle kindle can be like ignite to start a fire or help it to burn brightly to awaken or stir emotional feelings so similar meaning like ignite right another word can also be insight like this kingdom we know kitty a sum of money that has been left that has been contributed by a group of people or it can also be the informal word for a cat or kitten knack is a special talent for or a skill to do something I don't have the knack for that, but my friend does. My friend has a knack for bargaining, so that is knack. Knick knacks can be small decorative objects, which we usually in the season tied to Christmas tree. Yeah, so that, that's knick knacks. Knit is to make clothes by using a long needles. I'm sure you know what is knit, like knitwear, sweaters, how they knit. Yeah, that is knits. The verb form is knit. Okay. Lad is a boy or a young man. and lag is to move or walk slowly 
to be left behind. So that is lag. Lag is a, a delay, right? In the movie Ice Age, who lags behind? Who walks very slowly? You don't know? Who? Very good. Sloth. So what is the name of Sloth in that movie? Anybody remember? Sid the Sloth. Very good. That's a good movie if you want to watch. Good job. So this is the person who is the sloth here. So what is the word we want? Very good. Lag. L-A-G. Lag. Good job. Now, lame. Larynx. Latent. Lava. Law. Lead. And also lead. So lead, what the leader does. He leads, right? And also lead. That is, uh, you know, that as an element. Anybody knows what is the symbol of lead? No, right? PB, oh my God. That's a very difficult question. How did you know? Somebody helped you? Wow, that black things in your uh, pencil, that's actually uh, graphite, but we call it lead. Yeah, PB is right. Good job, everyone. But this is not to your age. That was a difficult question. Wow. So latent is hidden. Larynx is what you have here. That's your voice box, without which we will not be able to speak at all. Um, good job. I think uh, you will be able to answer this in a jiffy. What is this? What is this? What is this? Don't tell me volcano. What did we see just? Oh, yes. Good job. That is lava. Some of you are typing very fast. I am seeing voila. It's lava. Not a problem. I can understand your enthusiasm. But can you tell me what is a lava called when it is inside the mountain? When it is under the ground? Anybody knows? Oh, yeah. I'm getting right answers for this also. All of this are out of portion. I thought you will not know this and I should tell you this. Wow. I am so proud of you. So that is magma. Right? So when the molten rock, when it is trapped in the ground, it's called magma. When it reaches the surface, we call it lava. Good job. Good job. You're teaching me many things. Good job. So this page, leakage, leap, lend, level, lid, lifelong, lightning, lighting, liking, lip read. Is there any word you feel that is difficult in this page? Please do let me know. It's okay. We are all here to learn. If you don't have any, you don't have to type anything. But those of you who will want me to explain, lip read. Okay, lip read is when somebody is uh, speaking and you're not able to hear, but you're able to read their lips and understand. Maybe you are at a distance or you're not able to hear them. So that is lip reading. Okay. Good job. Lifelong, it's just there. Lifelong. So throughout somebody's life. Good job. Okay, now I am going to show you the picture. What is this? Take your time and type it correctly, okay? I don't want spelling mistakes. No spelling mistakes. What is this? Lightning, not lighting. Lightning is lighting up the sky, okay? I understand. But this is actually lightning, okay? And it is not lightening. There is no E between P and N. Okay. Lightening is to lighten the color of something. I'll show you this. So when you make things lighter, that is lightening. So if I have a dark hair, if I'm going to make it all brown, then I am lightening my hair. Okay. And that what we just saw right now is lightening. Okay. Lighting is uh, lighting. When you switch on the light, that uh, flow of... Uh, uh, when the sun comes up, it lights up the sky, right? So that is lighting, okay? And in poor lighting, we should not be reading. So that is lighting. So this is lightning. And what comes along with the thunder, that is lightning, okay? No spelling mistakes. Right, so liquid, livelihood, loan, lobby, location, locker, loft, lofty. And you please tell me if there is any difficult word. Loft. 
loft is that uh, space in your uh, okay lofty also got it so loft is that space that you have in your uh, in the top of your house it can be a room or it can be a space an area under the roof that is used as a storage space for you to keep things another word for that would be attic a t t i c lofty means having very high standards and morals compared to others so when somebody has a lot of uh, high values not everybody will be able to live with them they'll be like oh no it's not correct you should not be doing that that's very inappropriate don't do that don't think that so somebody who has very very high values compared to others who live with that person that is having lofty ideals okay very high qualities and status that is lofty now have you checked all the words can i show you the picture liquid livelihood loan lobby location locker loft and lofty so loft and lofty they are not connected okay oh yeah but loft is at the top in a very high place and they are having very high qualities and expectations that is lofty could be connected okay tell me what is this for it's not a lawn come on yeah livelihood so that is a farmer can you guess from which country is this farmer from a very difficult question but let me see if you are able to answer country assam is not a country darling the hat that this farmer is wearing is very peculiar to okay i have so far seen five correct answers the answer is vietnam it's actually called not la i think that conical hat that will prevent uh, them from getting wet it rains all the time right in a sorry <laughs> vietnam and they all wear this kind of hats can you see this person making the hat so this is how the hat is made and this is her livelihood making hats right next page logic loan look down look up loosen load lowland lull so tell me which word should i explain i will explain lull lull is to it's, it's a very short pause like when something is uh, very continuously uh, going like in a very fast pace or something that's uh, a brief uh, quiet time that is lull or when you want to pacify somebody or when you want to put a baby to sleep you lull the baby to sleep right that is love l u l l so stillness for a short period in the reduction of sound or noise a lowland is the land that is located below the sea level and at a level that is lower than the rest of the lands i think if ah uh, look down and look up they are phrasal verbs okay look down actually means to consider somebody inferior to you consider something or someone lesser or inferior in some way so that is look down upon something so it's not the literal meaning not looking down so look down as a phrasal verb it has this meaning and look up is the opposite meaning like you really admire somebody i look up to my teacher right something like that to respect or think highly of a person or uh, to get better or to search for something i'll just look that word up in the dictionary so in that sentence it means to search okay now can i show you the picture you tell me the word not look down very good some of you have given me the correct answers loosen l o o s e n lore is a story it can be a folklore yeah something like that here it's loosen so now is the time to loosen your muscles now if you are if anybody is wearing a tie you can also loosen that and yeah stretch yourself i understand it is break time i already saw your uh, yeah i saw that 6:45 yes 
I understand. Break time for one or two minutes. Please go get up, stretch your legs, have your glass of uh, water, milk, or any very small snack. Come back in two minutes. Yes, just close your eyes. Don't look at the screen, okay? Close your eyes or look at something that is very far from you, the farthest that you can see because you've been looking for at the screen for a very long time. It's better to close your eyes or see something that is very far away. I will not be able to allow you to unmute. It can end up very chaotic. Who wants to speak? Okay, Sahaj, go ahead. Ma'am, actually, can you please disable the chat? It's actually lagging up my screen and uh, mostly every, anything which is uh, which which you're giving on the screen, it's uh, lagging on my screen darling that will not be because of the chat it's because of your internet speed and we need to have the chat on because otherwise it will not be interactive darling please check your internet speeds sanvi you want to say something yes ma'am hmm. yes sanvi I'm actually nothing ma'am i wanted to say that Hmm. Say that what? Ma'am, when you give the pictures, can you give us more time? It takes me time to type. Okay, dear. I'll do this. Okay. Are you all back? Can we start? <laughs> what I'm thinking is... Let's take a break and do crossword and come back to this. What do you think? Otherwise, yeah, we'll take a break from words and meanings. It's just going on and on. And I'm just like you. So let me go find out where is this crossword. Yep, got it. We'll do crossword now. After we finish crossword, let's get back to words and meanings. Yes, I will always listen to you. That's the promise. Can we start? Only if you say go, I will go. Otherwise, I'll pause. Yes, you're showing me thumbs up. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, is everybody back? Not my fault. Your friends want me to start. So if you're not near the screen, please come back, come back. Let's start. Okay. Okay, those of you who just came back, what we're going to do now is crossword and then we'll come back to words and meanings. Okay, yes. So crossword is actually a very fairly simple exercise because we have only six exercises in this round. Only like six into two. So that is 12 pages only. Words and meanings, it runs to like so many pages. But this round is very, very simple. I will not be able to allow you, I'll not be able to allow you to speak I'm so sorry. Please type in the chat if there is anything that you want to tell me. Right? So we'll see the exercises for crossword now. This is your first exercise. And every exercise is based on a theme. Okay? The theme that we have here is meanings. So you're just going to use these as hints and write the words here. So a division or a section of a book. It is across two. I'm sure you know across you go from uh, left to right and down you go from top to bottom. As simple as that. And you will start at the box where it is numbered, right? So when you fill this, you will get this. So chapter, catamaran, piano, daughter. No, piano, sapling, daughter. Pentagon, December, blindfold and seedling so all of these are the meanings of those words are here right so what is down five can you type in the chat we just saw what is down five if you're not able to read a very young plant that has just sprouted from the seeds 
Very good. Sapling is the wrong answer. Seedling is the correct answer. So when it has just sprouted, it's called a seedling. After it grows a bit, it's called a sapling. Okay, this is a seedling. Right. Now, the second exercise, you can see this is a picture-based crossword. And all of these here are verbs. Okay. So what is this across one? What is she doing? It's a verb. It's not gymnastics. It's not yoga. It's not a noun. It's a verb. Very good. It's stretch. Very good. That is stretch. Can you tell me what is the next one? Let's see. What is uh, this act of taking the fruit from the tree? Very good. That is pluck. P-L-U-C-K. Use the base form. Don't uh, write plucks or plucking or pluck. The base form is just pluck. What is uh, across seven? Across seven is a four letter word. What is this? Very good. Leap. This is not just jump. It is leap. No? Good job. And what is across eight? Climb. Very good. It's not climb, but, but it's climb. Very good. What is number nine? Number nine is? Very good. It is gargle. Not gurgle. G-A-R-G-L-E. It is gargle. And what is down one? Anybody knows? The act of making statues from stone? Sculpt. Very good. It is not sculptured. We need the verb, right? So it is sculpt. Very good. And what about across, sorry, down two? Down two is crawl. Very nice. Good job. What is down three? Swim. Good job. What is number five? Number five? Plow. Very good. And the last one? Karate is not a verb. Attack? Possible. Very good. Okay. Now let's see the answers. I hope everybody has got everything right. Attack. Very good. I was only worried about the last one. That is also correct. Good job, everyone. Now, this is your third exercise. And here we have places. So what are these places? You're going to find the places, right? So I think number four is very easy. What is number four? Across four. Are you typing? Stadium, very good. It's not a mall, it's a stadium, right? And what is the next one? I'll zoom it. Number six. They sell medicines there. Good job. Pharmacy. What is number seven? Any guesses? Okay, it is the place where you keep all your things, but you don't really spend time there. Yes, that is a storeroom. Very good. Where everything is put in their places. A lot of things are there. You don't really be there. You just store your stuff there, right? And what is number eight? Where you go look at the cars and you buy if you're interested. What is that place called? Showroom. Very good. And what is uh, the one that's right next to it? That's number 10. It is a kind of a house. Very good. Villa. That's not a resort. It's a villa. It's a house. Okay. Now down one. It's here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word. Where you go watch movie, okay, cinema, 
or theater. Very good. The word that we want here is T H E A T R. Theater. Very good. And what is those? What is this place? Number two. What can that be? Of course, we know. We go to this place if we want to fly. That's airports. What is number three? Where you go to buy stuff. It's a store where you can walk around and choose your stuff. It's a supermarket. Very good. What is number five? Where do they keep the prisoners locked up? Very good. That's the jail. And the last one. What is this shiny swanky place? Oh, this is a wayside hotel. It's not a hotel, but you can find this in uh, like by the highways. You can stop there. Won't be a lot of facilities, but comfortable basic rooms. Very good. That's a motel. Very good. These are the answers to that. Majority of you have got all of the ones right or one or two mistakes. That's fine. We're going to learn anyway. And these are the words that you also had as special words in your spell it right now, right? Cyber words. So these are very simple, I think. When you say chip, I think the first chip that I will think of is potato chips. Anybody like me? No? Yeah, some of you. So this is in the cyber world chip. We also think of microchips or somebody in the carpentry world will think of wood chips. Right, so this second one, I think, is a joystick. This is compact disc, mouse, very simple, right? Printer, monitor, headphones, mobile, keyboard. So all of these are here. Simple, not difficult at all. Don't make mistakes, okay? I'll be very upset if you make mistakes. So this is your words that are related to happiness. So what is the most happiest word for you? You tell me. T type the word that gives you a lot of happiness. Drizzle. Wow. Okay. Cheer. Mummy. Kind. Okay. Many of you are saying mummy, mother. You're such darling children. You're... Daddy. Peace. Rain. Papa. <laughs> Cricket. My son is like you. Love, grin, drizzle, cure, football, nature, animals. Okay, badminton, sitting. Okay, games. Okay. Motivation, wow, okay. Papa and cricket, okay. Rubik's Cube. Even just looking at the word will be like making you happy. So words like that. Education. Wow, really? Cat. Okay. Fun fact. Okay. Scenery. So these are the answers in the question, in this in this exercise. Don't give me answers for here. Okay. Nice. Playground. Studying. Really? You're so studious. Wow. Okay. Nobody is typing storybooks. Okay. Writing books. Wow. Not reading. Okay. I thought writing your own books. Then that's great. World, the universe. Very nice. Basketball, playing. Many go round is one of the answers here also. Okay, let's now look at the questions. Very happy that you are typing the words that makes you happy. So light rain falling in very... Oh, you were answering to this really? I thought drizzle actually makes you happy. Okay, drizzle. Beautiful view of a natural landscape. That is scenery. A circular rotating platform on which children sit and ride in a park. What is this? What is this? Also spell me. Wow. Thank you so much. Merry go round is the correct answer. Very nice. That is merry go round. Okay, you're giving me answers very, very fast. Okay. Traveling show, fun part, outing. I think that's picnic. Number nine is picnic. Um, a type of dance where the dancer makes rhythmic sounds with his or her tap shoes. That's very simple. Tap dance. Um, open space to play. It's a thing. Playground. Okay, let's see the answers. You're giving me very, very fast answers. 
drizzle, merry-go-round scenery, fun fair, picnic, tap dance, playground, chocolate. Yeah, that makes me happy too. Journey. Yeah, I love to travel. Anybody else loves to travel? Okay, seesaw. Yeah, that was a fun thing, right? In the play area. So this is your last exercise in uh, spell it, sorry, in uh, crossword. This is based on etymology. So we take one root word, okay? And we have 10 words based on that. In which round did you have root words? Do you remember that? Which round? Type, type. One, two, three, four. Which round? Very good. That is correct. In round number two, you had root words, no? You had how many? 30 root words. We have just taken one root word from that and we have used it here. So what is the root word? L-O-G-Y. Logy, which means study of. Study of something. Okay, the study of the speech sounds of different languages. You know what is that called? The study of the speech sounds. So English has 44 speech sounds only. What is, okay, two, enough, enough, two. Done, done, got it. You all know that it is round two. I got that. Yes, stop typing two now. Right. Okay, phonology. Very good. Not morphology. Phonology. No two. Stop two. Okay. Phonology is the right answer. Now let's go and see the next one. What is the study of God or religion? What is that called? That's a tough one, actually, if you know. Theology. So theo, T-H-E, actually means faith or God. The study of ocean. Anybody knows what's the study of ocean called? Is it oceanology? <laughs> stop typing too. Please stop typing too. Then I'm not going to allow you to type on me. You don't want me to do that, right? Is it oceanology, really? You're saying oceanology. I'm not sure. I'll check. Study of Earth. This is easy. What is study of Earth? Geology. Very good. I love the students who are typing answers. Not the ones who are typing too. No, you're not my friends. Only those of you who are typing answers, you are my friends, okay? And the study of origin of words. The answer is actually right there on this page. The study of origin of words is on this page right now. Etymology, very good. That is the correct answer. See, here we have etymology is the study of origin of words. The study of living beings. What is this called? Very good. Biology. So both botany and zoology comes under biology. Good job. Study of eggs. Is there, is there a study just on eggs? So this is not just your hen's eggs. All the eggs. Okay. What is this? Not eggology. <laughs> that is a funny word. Oology. O-O-L-O-G-Y. That is the word. Oology. Simple word, no? Next one. What is the study of horses called? Hippology. Very good. Well, then what is the study of future? Again, a very simple word. Future plus ology. Futurology. Study of animals. It comes under biology. It is uh, zoology. But in futurology, no E. Okay. Let's see the answers. I'm sure you got everything correct. But is oceanology? Oh, yeah. Oceanology is a word. You are correct. I'm surprised. Beautiful. So with that, we have come to the end of crossword. And now is the time for us to get back to words and meanings. Where did we stop? Lose it, right? I remember. I have many funny things after that. Okay, so this is the next page. M. We are starting with M. Mace, machinery, magnify, maintain, majority, makeup. So. I think everything is easy here. I'm going to show you the picture. Let me see who is the first one to type the answer. You're very tired of typing? 
I'm continuously speaking for one hour, except for the two minute break. And I am not tired yet. You are tired. Okay, after I finish this, before Kani Ma'am comes, I will again give you a break. Okay? And I promise to finish in 10 minutes. Deal? After 10 minutes, you're going to get a two minute break again. And only after that, I will ask Kani Ma'am to speak. See, I'm a very good teacher. Please don't type me. Thank you. Now, you've seen the words, right? I'm going to show you the picture. Oh my God, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I want to see the answer in chat. You don't generally see this like this because it's very, very small. It's not a mosquito. Yes, the answer is magnified. Very good. An insect is magnified. Can you tell me what insect is this? This lives on you. I mean, on human beings, not especially you, not particularly you, but you will find in many people's they live on their scalp. They bite into their scalp and drink their blood. So this is lice. Correct. Because there are two, we can call them lice. If it is only one, what is the correct word? Five. The singular form of lice. Very good. Louse. Just like mouse and mice. Good job, everyone. Next page. Okay, for this page, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a picture for which you will tell me two words. The two words are here in this page. Okay, so look at the words very carefully. Mangle is to destroy completely. Margin, marked, maroon can be the color or also you abandon somebody to, you know, without any help or rescue. That person is just left there or something that's just left there. That is also maroon. To put somebody in a place and where there is no hope for rescue. That is also maru. Measure, media, mend is to repair, and menial, something that is not valued highly. That is menial, okay? Are you ready? I want two words, okay? Be ready. These are the words. Tell me the two correct words for this picture. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell me. Hmm? Mangle and mend. Very good. Mangled and mend. Beautiful. You know, there is actually a hospital for toys where they repair all of these broken, mangled toys in London. They do this. Like, they're called toy doctors and they will fix it in whatever condition you bring their toys. Right. The next page. Mia. Merry go round, message, metal, meter, mighty, miracle, misbehave, misfire. Okay? Are you ready? I have a very funny gif for this. Have you seen all the words? I am going to show you a short video. Look at this very carefully. It starts from here. Somebody is hurt. He is just there lying. The ball is being passed. And when the ball comes to him, he is cured magically. And he is starting to play again. So this they do in uh, football and soccer, right? They act like they have been hurt. And somehow when the ball is coming to them, they are right. They are normal. They are starting to play. This is a Yes, they are pretending, but this can be called a miracle. Correct. Those of you who have typed miracle, good job. Okay, next one. Misplaced, mistaken, mobile, modem, moison, monarch, monitor. Monarch can be the king or the queen who they rule. Okay, he or she rules a particular region, a kingdom. Mobile is not just the cell phone. Anything that can be moved easily can be called mobile, right? If you're ready, the picture is right here. So she is the queen of Wakanda. You know Wakanda, right? Yes, some of you have watched this movie. 
Very good. So she is a monarch. Very good. Next one. Monologue. A long speech given by a person. Okay, it can be in real or it can also happen in a movie, drama, etc. You know, it's a monster. You know, what is monthly? Mozak. Uh, earlier, they used to have mozak flows. That is how this word is very popular in India, but it can also be an art. When you put many soft, uh, small pieces together and make art, that is a mosaic art. Moss is a very tiny green or yellow plant that grows in uh, moist places like uh, wet rocks, trunks of trees. When you go to hill stations, you will see a lot of moss, lichens and moss. Motel, we just saw a small hotel by the highway. And motorboat, movable, easy. Muck is a thick, sticky mud or a liquid waste. That is muck. Okay. Now, can I show you the picture? You can tell me what is this? What is this? Very good. Anshum, this is Mossack. Not Mozart, Mossack. Okay. Next one. Mush, mute. Mutter, myself, mystery, mythical, naive. It's not naive, it's naive. Namely, nap. Naive is somebody who is very simple. They don't lack, they don't have worldly experience. So little children are very naive. Not you. You are now very, very smart and clever, right? Since you've seen the words, the picture is right here. What is the words? Very short word, nap. This is not sleeping, okay? When you go to your bed and tuck in at night, when you're going to sleep soundly for the entire night, that is not a nap. A very short sleep is called a nap. See, he is just on the couch. Right, next one. Narrow, national, national anthem. Native, near, necklace, negative, nil. Now I'm going to show you a picture for which... You can write two words, okay? And you can write both the words with a comma, okay? Don't write after some time. Write both the words with a comma. Are you ready? I have it crossed 10 minutes, really. Native and necklace, wow, you are so clever. Those are the two words I wanted. Good job. Native and necklace. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. I'll go a little faster. Somebody says I have crossed my time. Let me make it very, very fast. I think only three or four pages. So noisy, non-stop, normal, notice. Normal can be a long uh, fiction or it can also be something that is new and different. Okay. Nowadays, numerical. So this word, it is both object like an article and object to oppose. Okay. And this is Offense. What is offense? When uh, you do something that is punishable by law, that is offense. Okay, like uh, traffic offense. You cannot uh, drive when there is a red light on. So that is an offense. And also when you're feeling very angry because uh, you are insulted by what someone else has done, that is also offense. Now tell me what is the word? Offense is correct. Very good. Next one. Okay. All very, very simple words. So I'm just going to show you the picture. Very simple, right? Officer Romer Okay. Onyx is a kind of a semi-precious stone. Like we saw pearl, onyx, opal, all of these are also precious stones. Now, what's the words? A bit. Very good. Very good job. And these are imaginary lines. In the space, there are not real lines like that. But this is the pathway that the planet has cleared it for itself. Which Pluto did not do. That is why it is not a planet. It's a dwarf planet. It does not have that set orbit. Right. Now, this page. Orderly, oh, original, often, otherwise, outdated, outgoing. So all of these, I think, outgoing, I think it's uh, being very sociable with people. That's outgoing. And going from a place, that is also outgoing. 
outgoing call can also be another meaning. So this kind of fashion, we don't see people wearing clothes like this anymore. Right? So this fashion is outdated. I think your grandfather used to wear pants like this. It was very fashionable when he was in his youth. It is now very outdated. It's called bell-bottom pants. Right. Outpatient, outskirts, overdue, overhear, overrate, overstates, overview, ownership. So a little much that is overstayed, overrate. So overestimating something is overrating something. Overestimating, I just told you, so this is overrate. With just one more page to go, in just one minute, you're going to get a break. Yes, darlings, this is overrate. We saw that, over, done. So this is your last, very, very last page. I think so. No? Have I missed one page? Oh, no. There are some more pages. Okay, what we'll do, we'll take a break. Yeah, there are some more pages. Yeah, take a break. Take a break, come back in a minute, please. Get up and go. You wanted a break, no? So I've given you a break. Go. I'm serious. Just with five more pages to go, I think you still deserve a break. So please come back after some time. If you don't feel like going, just stand up, jump, stretch, do whatever you want. I but ma'am, you promised was... after the break it would be Kani ma'am's time. You want to go Kani ma'am? No problem. I'll go after you. Okay ma'am. I just have like five pages left but they won't let me take. One, two, okay. I'll, let, I'll tell you for sure how many pages I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, Agarwal, yes, you are on break right now. Arun Ma'am has declared break. Okay, when they come back, I will just give them like 10 seconds for every page. Okay, you have a dog, you will play. Wow, very nice, Ivan. Okay, when they come back, okay, students, if you are here, please listen. When you come back, I will count exactly 10 and then I will give the answer, okay? In 10 seconds, we are doing every single page because Kanimam is waiting and that's not fair. Are you back? Yes. If not, it's okay. This recording will also be available to you. And we need to complete all the pages. So where were we? We did this. We are here. Okay. I'm starting. Are you here? Everyone, yes, yes. You can come back with your coffee mug. I don't mind. What's not coffee? Your glass of milk, anything, your snack. Not a problem. Okay, let's continue. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here comes the picture. What is the word? Pain is the word. Good. Next. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. What is the word? Very good. Parachutes. Just look at the words very quickly, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. What is the words? Pedal. Very good. So it is not just cycle pedal. It's also the brake pedal and the accelerator pedal. Very good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, 
one time's up what is this very good it's a pendulum very good now 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 time is up what is this very good this is a piano this is not a keyboard you cannot use both the words interchangeably next 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. The word is playgrounds. You should only give me the words that you see in the page. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. What is this? Plow. Very good. Good job. Those of you who are looking and typing, you are really good students. Next, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. What is she wearing? Her hand is tied up in a, not a pony, ponytail. Very good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Who is this? Very good. A potter. Good job. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Why am I giving you counts? Because this is your last word. I hope you're ready. Not belt, not plug. That is a precaution. She is asking you to put on your seat belt. So that is a precaution. Very good. Next, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very good. The word is promise. Good children, you are. Okay, next. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready? Very good. Protest. It can even be a public protest. Good job. They are protesting. Good job. Next one, next one. This is the last one. Yes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I think that's enough. Only three words. Tell me what is happening here. <laughs> very good. Put on is the right answer. I am very happy with your participation, especially those of you who did not type too continuously and those of you who have been continuously interacting and not tired with uh, typing. Love you, children. With that, uh, I am ending on a very funny note. And uh, honey, ma'am, let me... Where am I? Yeah, enough with commentary. Thank you so much, everybody. I sign off right now. Honey, ma'am's time starts immediately because no break now. You just went for a break. So, bye-bye everyone. Anima, I look forward to see you all at the uh, international level bootcamp also. Please do come for the international level and finish all the four levels and become international level champions. All the very best. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. It was a great and lively session and we are all you know, very interested in seeing all the pictures. It was very nice, entertaining and uh, the kind of interaction that's happening in the chat box. Very interesting. All right. Um, you all have questions. When is the exam? I don't have the book. When will I get a book? I'll tell you where to ask the questions by the end of this session. Okay. And I see a lot of feedback. We get the feedback at the end too. Okay. So you're all done with your level two exam and you're going on to write, attend your level three exam. And you know what? Once you're done with this boot camp, your level three exam will be 
as easy as a walk in the park. Yes, because we are going to cover everything and you're already covered uh, crossword. You just have two more rounds to cover. What are those two more two rounds? Any idea what the numbers of these rounds are? It would be round 11 and round 12. Round 11 is word weaving and round 12 is compound words and kinds of types of words. But before I go into this round of word weaving, what do we mean by weaving? You know what is weaving? They weave clothes and all. Yes. This is how they weave clothes. They interlace uh, different threads and they make clothes. By weaving, you can create anything. You can create a blanket. You can create a mobile pouch. You can create a scarf. You can create a blanket, a shirt, a pant. When you know the art of weaving, you can create any kind of clothing. That is what word weaving is. When you know how to form words with just these 26 alphabets, you can form any number of words, thousands of words, lakhs of words. You must be doing minimum 2,000 or 3,000 words. No? So in spell it right itself, we have 1,000 words. Word weaving is, the, is a round where you'll be able to weave a lot of words from just a few alphabets. And this is your median page, you know, for word weaving. Yes. Yes. This one. What kind of exercise you will be having in word weaving? We have given the clue in this page itself. You have like three games, three kinds of exercise. The top part, the top part shows something, the middle part shows something, and the bottom part shows another kind of questions. Yes. Akshad, you know a million words, really? Mm-hmm. Okay, yep. the first kind of questions will be a word wheel, where a word will be jumbled. You have you like jumbled letters, no? Jumbled words. That's a uh, favorite game of uh, my sister, and uh, I hope you will like it too. You just have to you just have to unjumble and write the correct sentence, correct word, and then form other words from that word. And the next one is word stars, where you'll be given a clue, and then you'll be asked to find the words based on that. And then word combo. You will have three columns. You have to combine one alphabet from each and form two words. Let's go one by one. So this is word weaving. And you're going to, the first type of questions is word weave. And this is how your question will be. There will be a, the clue picture will be in the middle and, and a jumbled word Jumble letters around the picture. You have to form a word. That's a postcard, no? Postcard, P is not, it can't be postcard. It can be a deed. You have to use all the words. You have to use all the words only once. Dress, you're leaving out A. The only word you can form by using all the letters here is address. So the word is address. That's correct. With the... Alphabets in the word address. Can you form other words? First, tell me three letter words. How many three letters word can you form from address? Add. Yes. Only three letters. Dad. Yes. Red. Sad. Very good. Anything else? Don't repeat. Sad. I already said sad. Add. Sad. Anything else other than that? Red. Dad. Anything else other than that? Other than that? Year. Very good. C, yes, not bad. Mad, there's no M here. Rad, you know what is rad, not bad. Add, dad, sad, red, R, era. All these are three letter words. Are there any four letter words? I just want four letter, dead, okay. Read, yes. Dead, read, anything other than red and deed. Bead, there is no B here. Anything other than ah, dear dad, not bad. Dear dad, be dead, ears, and seer. You see your meat, no? Okay. Let's so you have to write the four uh, words in the blanks given for the exam. And the next one, this is your next question. And the clue picture is here. What is this? Very good. It's a catamaran. 
Thermalan is correct. And how many words can you form? Tell me first three letter words only. Only three letter man, cat, eat. Anything else? There are a lot of three letter words. Ran, man, and then ran I already saw. Anything new? Car, okay. Mat, okay. Anything new? Men, there is no E here. Men can't come, Kalpesh. Arm, very good. A-R-M, arm is correct. Charm is correct. Very good, Arofi. Anything else? Rat, yeah. Act, arm, can, car, man, mat, art. Ram, a kind of sheep, is also correct. You also have ant, ran, rat, tan, and tar. Grace, good job, tar. The substance that we use for laying roads. Okay. Uh, four letter words. I want four letter words. You have any four letter words? Math, very good. Math, a kind of shop. Tear, mm -hmm. there is no E here. No tear. Only bar, pal, where do you get bar from? Okay. Can't cut, mart, and trap. Okay. Are there any five letter words you can form from here? Five letter words? Five letter words? That makes sense, Muhammad? Cater? No, there is no E here. No. No, you can't. You can't deny. The only five letter word I could form was carrot. Yes, carrot, someone told. Very nice. Carrot is like how you measure the purity of a diamond. That is carrot. Good job. With that, we're moving on to the second kind of exercise that you'll be having. That is word stars. You, uh, this is how it is there in your book. And this is how the questions will be. You'll be given either first and second letter or first and last letters uh, definition. And then you will be asked to guess the words. I've just given you only one letter here. Starting letter is N. A short sleep. Vaishnavi, good job. A short sleep is nap, no? It can be a nap of 10 minutes, a nap of one hour. Nap is correct. The next one, a division of the armed forces that fight at the sea. There are three divisions of armed forces, no? Army, dash, and air force. Navy is correct. N-A-V-Y is correct. Uh, being innocent or inexperienced. She's such a dash girl. She'll believe everything. Carolyn. Yes. Name is correct. Naivity is the noun form. And the opposite of wide. Wide. Vara. You're correct. The opposite of wide is narrow. Simple. Words test. This should be your simplest round in where you can get 10 out of 10 anytime if you're thorough with what's there in exercise. Okay, here you're given the first two letters. You have O, R. So it starts with O, R. Must be easy. The first one, a rock from which mineral, minerals and metals are extracted. We found a dash ore in uh, the hills. Iron ore, gold ore. Or is a rock from which you extract iron, any kind of metals or minerals. So, or is correct. Second one, spoken. Oral is correct. Spoken exam, oral exam. Okay. Third one, the path of a planet, moon, etc. You saw this word the other time. I was just witnessing that. The imaginary path on which the earth goes around the sun. Orbit is correct. A public speaker. Rishita, the first one to give me an answer. Someone who speaks, you know, makes speeches in a public place is, is an orator. Okay, we'll just see one more and move on to the next kind of question. Now, here, this starts with H and ends with E. You just have to find the middle, middle ones. Uh, I think you saw this word with Arul, ma'am. Uh, the gradation of a color, the different dash of the bazaar. The another word for color is hue. No, the right answer is hue. Uh, different uh, 
shades of colors, hues of colors. Yes. The second one, a long walk in the countryside. Starts with H, ends with E. What do you call this? Walk. I decided that to take a dash in my, in the forest near my house. Very good. The right answer is hike. Hike is a walk that is undertaken along the countryside or inside a forest. All right. And the next one, to divide equally. Starts with H, ends with E. My mother uh, dash the cake between me and my brother. Half is half, you know, this half. Two halves make a full. When you cut it, you say, I halved it. H-A-L-V-E. Halve is a verb. I, my mother halved the apple into two. Halve is correct. The last one, an obstacle or a problem. This is also a sport hurdle. A hurdle is an obstacle. You have a lot of hurdles in obstacle course. Hurdle is the correct answer. As promised, you're going to the next kind of question. This is what combo. This must be the easiest of all. Uh, you have three columns. Just imagine three columns here. The first column has FGW. The second column has IN. Third column has INDEX. You have to take one alphabet from column A and everything in column B and one alphabet in column C. Can you tell me what kind of answers you can come up with? F I N D. Oh my God, the first case is already, already correct. For F I N D is a word. Find is correct. Anything else? G I N D. Gind. No. W I N D. Wind. So find wind. You got two words. Anything else? G I N D. No. What am I doing? Yeah. F I N E. Find. Find is there. Guide is not a word. Fine is there. G I N E. Gind. No. V A N E. Wine. Wine is there. Fine and wine. And W I N E wine, W A N X wine. Yeah, you get four words here. No? Fine wine, fine then wine. Okay, but in your exercise, you'll be able to uh, directly get only two words, not no more than that. And this is how it will be there in your book. Column A in pink, column B in green, and column C in blue. Okay, let's try answering one question. You have column A. Column B compulsory, column B and columns, column C. Choose only one from column A. For example, C, L, U, G, Clug. No, Clug is not correct. C, L, Clug is not correct. Clug is not correct. C, no, there is no word starting with C. B, L, U, G, Blug. No, B, L, U, R, Blur. Blur, yes. I thought my picture was blur, sorry. So, Blur is the correct word. You got Blur. Anything else? B, L, U, G, Blugs. No. PLUG plug. Yes. PLUG plug is a correct word. Plug, plug. No, those are not words. So there are only chances of getting two correct words. No more. So blur and plug is correct. Okay. Ball, plug, bug. No, you're not understanding the instruction. Only one for, word from column A, compulsory column B, and one from column C. Let's try one more. Try finding out the two words. It should be a four-letter word. There is no other option. G U R I Fury. No. Fury. No. Fury. Yes, Fury. The night fury. The dragon. From how to train your dragon. Okay. Then anything else? Fury. Pure. Pure is there. Yes. And anything else? Poob. No. Fury. Yes. Pew. No. Only two words you're getting. Pure and fury. If you got that, nice. How do you get four from here? There is no O at all. Only pure and fury. Okay. And next question, I think is the last question. This was we really kind of tough. Can you give me two uh, words from here? Oh my God, how fast you are. PC, BIT, no. Pitch book, no. Pitch book, no. PC, uh, no. There is no word starting with PC. Is it XE? Zebit, Zebit, Zekhen, Zep, no. Orbit is there. Orbit is there. Orbit. Maybe only one word. Maybe here there is a possibility of getting only one word. No more. Net, no. You, you cannot get two units from column C. One unit from column A, one unit from column B, and one unit from column C. 
Okay. The next word is actually Zebek, and this word is there in your spell it right. What is the Zebek? Zebek is a three masted ship, a boat like this that, that was used in the uh, ancient Roman times. This is called a Zebek with three masts. In a sailboat, you have only one mass, you know, there's three masts. This is Zebek. But then you're done with round 11. Very simple, no? You would answer all questions like this. They're just, you know, very simple for your intelligence. You're already in national level. So your next round is this. Round 12, compound words and the kinds of types of words. But what are compound words? Uh, words that are written on the compound, like words from uh, sacred books and all. What is a compound word? A compound word is something that's formed when you combine two different words. Two different words with different meanings. When you combine them together, there will be a brand new word with a new meaning. Any example? You would know? Maybe I'll give you a clue. This is a picture clue. You have like five compound words here. The first one, butter and fly is butterfly. The second one, what is that? Are you able to see? Wheel and chair. It's a wheelchair. And then, what's the next one? Very good. That is sun and the flower. Sunflower. And then, foot and a ball. Football. And the last one, rain and a bow. Is a rainbow. As simple as that. With that, we'll go to the exercise in your book. You'll have two exercises on compound words. And let's see one by one. The, we have given you the definition. We have given you options. You just have to choose. Let's go one by one. To cheer up. Things uh, finally started dash as, you know, we won the game. To cheer up is looking up. Look up. Look up. Looking up is cheer up. What do I mean by look down? Don't look down on your neighbors. You will never know when uh, they will also be fine. Look down is make, looking at someone like they are, you know, below than you, lower than you. Okay. Right answer is look up. Yes. Your next question is here. Yeah. Working secretly. Um, agent Vinod was a dash agent. Undertake agent. What do you do undertake? When I say I undertake something, I promise I will do that. That is undertake. Undercover agent is someone who is working secretly. Nobody knows uh, his identity. That is undercover. So working secretly is an undercover police, undercover, undercover detective, etc. Your next word is here. Yeah, you already saw that. Yes. A short summary. Uh, over, can you please give me an overview of the book? Can you tell me what's this book about? Can you give me a short summary of the book? A short summary is obviously overview. View is correct. To delay or postpone. Please don't keep dash the sports day. You're all eagerly waiting for it. Put off is correct. Put on, we just saw. Put off is correct. Having extraordinary powers or qualities like that of a superhero. Superman is not a normal human being, no? He is super, not supermarket. Superintendent is a job, no? It's a post. The only right answer is superhuman. Extraordinarily more than a human is superhuman. Okay. A machine that makes instant copies of documents. We call this a Xerox machine, but Xerox is a name of a brand that's not correct. What is this? It is a photocopier. Not photograph, not Photoshop. It's a photocopier. You take Xerox copies, photocopies, no? In this machine. It's a photocopier. With that, you're going to have a second compound of words. Alphabet, I mean, exercise. Let's just see. A large space used to display products. Storeroom or showroom? 
store room store room is somewhere you keep the things you don't display nobody will come and see in in the store room the showroom is where you display things where customers can come and see and buy so the last space to display product is showroom the next question a sleeveless garment for the upper body you have waistcoat raincoat and overcoat raincoat is for can be for the upper body and even for the lower body overcoat is a huge coat that you wear which has sleeves i'm talking about sleeveless coat sleeveless coat is waistcoat not overcoat not raincoat it's overcoat It's waistcoat, not overcoat, not raincoat. It's waistcoat. Equipments or parts of machines. Something that you can touch is hardware, not software. Malware is a virus. It's hardware. Hardware is the equipment or parts of the machines like even the keyboard and the monitor are all hardware. A position or a way of looking at something. I do not agree with your dash point on this subject. Everybody will have, will have their own dash point. Not match point. Ball point is a pin. That's not a way of looking. A way of looking or understanding is viewpoint. Viewpoint is correct. Your next question is a book in a flexible cover or binding. You'll be able to bend the book and all. What kind of book is that? Flash book, paper book, tail book. What am I saying? No, binding, binding. What kind of binding is that? Tailback, paperback or flashback? You know what is a flashback? Flashback is something, you are thinking about something that happened already. That is flashback. And uh, there are only two kinds of binding. Paperback and hardback. Paperback is flexible and hardback will be like hardbound. If you have, if you are a well being intense student, you will be having a thousand words and meanings book. No, that is a Hardback, you cannot bend it. The other books, level on level, level three book, all those are paperback. Back, paperback, not back. Back, darlings, backs, paperback. That's the question, no? Dash back. Those are all paperback books that can be no? bent. Bent. And ancestor. When you talk about your father, father's father, their father's, your ancestry, who do you mean? What do you call them? That's correct. Forefathers. The forefathers of this country. The forefather of my ancestry. The right answer is forefather only. But that we are done with your compound words. The next part of the exercise is kinds or types of words. But we already saw this. If you were with me for level 2 boot camp, we already did this. For your round 7, not godfather, it's forefather. For round seven, we saw kinds of types of words. No, we saw parts of speech, noun, verbs, and all. You already did this, so this round should be easy. How many parts of speech are there? Let me see if you remember or not. How many parts of speech are there? Yes. What is blur? Blur. I'm just showing kinds of types. Thank you, yes, Mudharadi. There are eight parts of speech, and the, those are here. Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, interjection. You must be knowing about all this. At least basic concepts. You must know what is a noun. What is a noun? It's a naming word, no? Any name, place, thing, or an idea is a noun. Yes. Vihan Vikram, we don't know what a noun is. Your first exercise is on finding out whether the given words are animated nouns or inanimate nouns. What do I mean by animated nouns? All living things or animated nouns. Eight, I got it. Okay, we have come to the first part now. Any we have okay. Any living thing is a animate noun. Any non-living thing that doesn't have life, that cannot move on its own, that doesn't have life, is an inanimate noun. Like things, all things are inanimate. All uh, human beings and uh, animals are animated. You got this? You understood this? Now you can try answering questions. You have uh, six words on your left. 
You need to tell me whether they are animated or inanimate terms. Okay, your first picture is here. Who is this? This is a warden. This is a prison guard, prison warden. Here, hostel wardens. Warden is someone who is takes care of a place. Is this animated or not? Very good. It is an animate now, not an animate because you're a living being, no? They can move. He can be animated. Animate noun is correct. And then warden is animate noun. This one, a remote. It keeps moving. Even if it moves, even if it's a remote controlled car, it has no life. It's a non living thing. It is inanimate. Okay. And absentee, someone who's absent for an exam. An absentee, any person who's absent for the exam or, or absent for this webinar. That's a person, no? A living being. So an absentee is also an animate, animated noun. Diary. Diary. Diary is a thing. It's a non-living thing. It can be an animated person. So diary is inanimate. Not bad. A catamaran. It's moving. It's moving in the wind. But still it doesn't have any life. So it is inanimated. The last one. Sibling. Who is the sibling? Could be a brother or sister, younger or uh, elder. Doesn't matter. Any Someone you know, who's born with you, before you, after you. Again, a sibling is a living thing, living person. So it is animated. All right. Your next exercise is finding out whether something is a noun or an adjective. As we saw, you know what is a noun. A noun can be a person, place, thing, or an idea. David, Emily, Europe, books, friendship, freedom, loyalty, anger, hunger. All these are nouns. What are the adjectives? Something that use that we use to describe a noun. When I say David, if I say angry, David, angry is an adjective. When I say mobile, if I say expensive mobile or nice mobile, expensive nice are all adjectives. If I say great India, great is an adjective. Something that adds a description to a noun is an adjective. For example, all these are adjectives. Beautiful, girl, sour, lemon, clever, fox, brave, military man, she military man. All right. We have this basic understanding. We'll go to the exercise. There are six words on your left. You have to tell me whether that's a noun or an adjective. Very simple. You know, nouns or naming words. You need to tell me whether it's a noun or an adjective. Your first word is this. It is a mystery. Nobody knows what happened. Mystery is a noun or adjective. It's a, it is a noun. Yes. But what is the adjective form of mystery? Adjective form of mystery. This is a dash novel. This is a dash question. Does anyone know the adjective form of mysterious? Yes, someone gave me the correct answer. This is a mysterious story. This is a mysterious uh, uh, novel. Mysterious is the adjective form. Mystery is noun. And what is this? Sweaty. Is this a noun or a verb? Noun or an adjective? It is an adjective. Yes. He was a sweaty boy. He is very sweaty. Sweaty is an adjective. What is the noun form of a sweaty? Sweat. Yes. Sweat is correct. Beautiful. The next question is this. Lobby. The front part of a building. Where we receive wet guests. Very good. No doubts at all. Lobby is a noun. It is a place. It is a noun. And what is this? Wacky. Acting wacky. Acting silly. What is wacky? This is a wacky penguin. Penguin is a noun. Wacky is a describing word. You describe the penguin as wacky. So wacky is an adjective. What is the noun form of wacky? Noun form of wacky. Not whack. Not whack. Not whack. Try. The dash of the penguin was adorable. 
Vacuous Meher, good job. The right answer is vacuous. The noun form of vacuum is vacuous. Okay. Eddie, what do you mean by Eddie? A circular motion of air or water that is going against the normal direction, against the current. That is the eddy. The circular motion in rivers and oceans, that is an eddy. And it is a particular thing. It can be an adjective. It is a noun. And your last word with this exercise, I guess. Yes. He was feeling giddy with excitement. He was feeling giddy in relief. Giddy? Giddy is an adjective. Yes. Beautiful. With that, you have finished now on adjectives. Your next question is your next kind of exercises. You will have to form adjectives. You have uh, sentences, and in the inside the brackets, I have given you nouns. You have to convert these nouns into adjectives. Let's see if you can do it. The first noun, sand. Hmm? I already give you the answer. Sand. The sand beach can be correct. No, the beach is the noun. So sand should be an adjective. The adjective form of sand is sand. D is correct. Beautiful. The next one. It was a carelessness mistake. Not correct. What is the adjective form? You can't say it was a careless mistake. No, it was a careless mistake. Careless is the adjective, is correct. The most famous actor, famous the noun. Famous is correct. The most famous actor. It's correct. Beautiful wave hair. Wave is the noun. And can you form a adjective? Wave. Shall we? Wavy is correct. Wavy hair is correct. I am the happiness person in the world. Happiness is a noun, but how do you change it to an adjective? I am the happiest Pranit. Yes, I am. Pranit is the happiest person in the world. Happiest is correct. Is this honey? Purity? Purity is a noun, but can you change it into an adjective? A. Is this honey? Pure? That's correct. But that we are done with this exercise too. We just have one more exercise and we are done with the session. I'll be sharing some important links and then you can all go have dinner and sleep. Yes. We know what are adverbs. Anything that describes about a verb. She was dancing beautifully. Yes, correct. She was singing sweetly. Yes. We all know it. All adverbs, almost all adverbs end with L-Y. But now here, there's only one adverb ending with L-Y. There are adverbs of time too. Never. Once. All these are adverbs of time. Let's see if we're able to form correct adverbs. The teacher repeated the question three times. So third or thrice. Thrice is correct. The teacher repeated the question thrice is correct. I just can't walk any far. As, uh, how do you change far into an adverb? Any further, any further, option A, any further is only correct, not furthest, any further. And I can speak English fluently or fluent? Fluently is correct. Fluent is an adjective. You can say he is a fluent speaker of Spanish. That you can use, but here it's only fluently. And then the wind was blue, uh, blowing eastward or eastern. The wind was uh, windows blowing. Eastern is correct. Option A is correct. Am I correct? That's what you're saying? Option A? Okay. Eastern is again an adjective. The eastern wind blows in the evening. That is an adjective that can't be correct. The eastward, the windows blowing eastward is only correct. Eastward is the direction. It's an adverb. And only Venus and Uranus rotate in that direction. Clocking direction or clockwise direction? Clockwise direction, option A is correct. The whole owned by the royal family. The crown wells are dash owned by the royal family. Wholesome owned can be correct. Hmm? Wholesome is again an adjective. This is a wholesome meal. As an adjective, you can't use that here. 
wholly owned option B, meaning the it's completely owned by the royal family. The right answer is C, wholly. With that, we have come to the end of the session. Thank you for being here, but uh, do stay for two minutes more. We have some important links to share. Bala sir, are we ready with the links? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Um. Now we are done with your level two boot camp. We'll be going on level three boot camp. We'll be going on to write your writing your exam. We'll be writing your L four exam. But there should be a channel for us to communicate with each other. No. If I create a quiz or if I you know have a competition or assignment or a story writing competition, anything, there should be some direct way we can I can talk to you. We have this uh, link for our official WhatsApp channel. Uh, we also put our award winners' photos there. Maybe if you win, uh, become top 10 rank holders, your photos will be asking from you and you'll be posting it there. You'll be seeing in the chat, open a notepad or a Word document, copy this links and use it after the session is over. Copy the link. The link that you see on the screen is our official WhatsApp channel, which we'll be using to contact our students directly. Have this. And you can be a part of it. And anything that you want to say, when you want to announce maybe the results or anything. Uh, our, when we we have a picture of a Hall of Fame there, do check if your photo is there. Follow this channel for uh, direct updates from us. Your next uh, link is of the games that we have designed for you. Do you know we have created two games for you? Free of course, as a part of your will be international course. You just learned the meanings of 300 words now. All the thousand words you can actually learn via a game. We dis we designed this Trekman game that is there in Android Play Store, Apple App Store, and also in website. You didn't even have a phone. You can play on your computer. The, all the three links are there on your screen. Copy it. Download the game. Use your spin ID. Nothing else. No, no extra cost. We spent a lot on creating these games. Do play. It will be easier for you to learn and then write the exam. You can just uh, go to Android Play Store and search for Trekman. The name of the game is Trekman, and these are the links. Download it, use your spin ID, start playing, and understand and learn all the thousand words. As I told you, we have devised another app too. There is another app that is the Phonetics app, where you can learn the phonetics around. You know what is the good thing about this app? We have added the sound option this year. When you are you know, learning a word, you can actually listen to the sound, how this word is pronounced, you know, authentic uh, pronunciation from the Cambridge Dictionary. So we can learn the pronunciation. We are not able to, in our books, no, we are not able to uh, you know, tell you how to pronounce the word. We show you only phonetic symbols. Here you can actually hear the sound, understand how that the word should be pronounced and learn it. So use the phonetic quiz. Again, this is also free. You just need your spin ID, put your uh, key in your spin ID and start playing. And uh, the next uh, link is your service query form. During the session, a lot of you were asking, where is my book? When will I get the book? When will be the level three exam? Are my L2 certificates are not uh, no, given to me? Any kind of questions that you have regarding to our service, uh, the service query forms link that you see on your chat box right now, use the form, tell us what is your query in detail, it will be automatically forwarded to your concerns will be associated and it is our promise that in 48 hours your query will be solved and the concerned coordinator will contact you and uh, resolve your query and the next one is a content query content query form while you're reading you'll be getting a lot of doubts no why is this the correct answer i think this is an adverb why are you calling it an adjective can this also be an adverb any question regarding the content of the book you can write to us on this form just fill in the form, tell us your doubt. It will be forwarded to our content department. They will see what is your query and they will resolve it personally. So that is your content query form. And any other links, sir? Oh my God, this is the most important link of all. As Arul Mem was telling in the beginning, we are a part of this global campaign that is funded by United Nations Trust Fund, HS4A, World Academy of Arts and Science, Human Security for All campaign. Selby International is the official campaign partner in India. And we are taking it our, to our students. You'll be given uh, assignments or competitions where you can be a, a part of this global campaign. This form is just for you to tell us how you'd like to participate. I would like to do an artwork. 
I would like to take a one minute video pledge on what human security means to me. I would like to uh, write a slogan. Any, however you wish to participate, you need to tell us through this form. And when you are rolling out the competition, the ones who have filled this form, you'll be our first priority. We'll be contacting you first and giving you the opportunity to take part in this global campaign. And yes, with that, we have come to the end of the session and it is just two days for the new year. And I hope, you know, you'll be partying like anything. I, we wish you a very happy new year and we'd like to see you in the L4 camp too. With that, let me bid adieu and uh, thank you for being here. We'll close the session in five seconds. Yes, we'll be getting a long break now. Yes, we'll end the session in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and bye.